What's up guys, just a quick video today. Get a little small work done on the EG in preparation for our next track event, which is a night event. Picked up some new headlights, which are brighter. These are made by Bosla. See how these work on there compared to the ones I have on there now. The ones I have on there are now pretty generic and inexpensive. I think these will definitely be brighter being an LED. And we're gonna install this light bar. This light bar I had from my CRV for the longest time. Still has all the hardware, brackets, wiring harness, which should be a very quick install. We're gonna throw that thing on there as well. Then we have another lip we're gonna throw on. I'm actually a little bored of the old lip, so we're gonna get this one put on also. Stock headlights aren't bad, look fine. Old headlights, new headlights, easy to install. Go in the same way, they just have this extra ballast, which you can mount somewhere to stop it from moving around. Simple install though. All right, new headlights also have an additional feature, which is why I wanted them. Of course, turn on once, they're just solid white. Again, second time, half white, half amber. And this one is a full amber, which is what I like. It's kind of a cool look for track, not necessarily used for anything else. Got the bumper off, I'm gonna mount the bar to the front core support. And it's cool because this has these slide back and forth, has little brackets and a bolt. What I'm gonna use is these holes right here. I already have a washer put in there, just a larger one to stop it from moving. I should be able to just bolt this right up. Got the light bar bolted up really easily. This thing is really cool. It already has a switch, the relay, fuse, all the wiring harness already there. And I'm running it up here right now and I'm just gonna get the rest connected. That one should be ready to go.
up, dog? Good, I did get a chance to say hi. Thanks, dude. So I think the light bar caused a couple of issues with overheating, blocking the majority of the vent. The radiator now had a lot less flow. I ended up removing the bumper, had an issue with a ground not being, you know, for some reason the ground that was on the thermostat cover, I had to move it to the actual housing this time and the car started right up. I had an issue where I spent about 45 minutes trying to figure that out, my ECU tested in somebody else's car was okay but moved the bumper took it out for one more session it did okay overheated at the very end and then during the time attack i ended up blowing the coolant fuse the cooling fan fuse for some reason so overheated a lot quicker and i had a decent lap for the time but i think it could have been a little bit faster had i not overheated on the very last straight the light bar helped a lot though i think it made a big difference and the new headlights being a lot brighter even when I had the light bar off, the headlights seemed to make a huge difference on track and it really didn't feel as different as I thought it was going to be. All right guys, and that wraps it up for today's video. I guess mildly successful, at least the car made it home. Overheating is something to be expected. We've been reaching 105 to 110 for like the last month. So it's definitely hot out that afternoon and it continued into the evening, but Car made it home, tires felt awesome. I put the, gosh, I can't remember if I talked about it earlier, the 949s, 15 by eight with the 245-40 Nankangs. They're used, picked them up from a friend, but they fit well. I had zero issues. I had zero issues with the rear. It did not rub at all, obviously, with me cutting the fenders as I showed a little earlier, but car's now a little bit farther forward in its progression. Got to get ready. We have another event, hopefully in five weeks, I'd like to go to up in Albuquerque. Hopefully we can get the car up there or maybe even the CRX up at that track. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.